Fish Nation and welcome back to another episode of Flathead Outfitters. Hey, it's Thursday afternoon. We're down on our favorite fishing place on the Oconee River in Dublin, Georgia. And listen, we're excited. The river has finally come down to about eight and a half feet. Still a little muddy, but it looks a lot better than what it did this time last week. Hey, it's been about three weeks since we've been able to get on this river and fish it the way we've wanted to because of the cold temperatures and because of the flooding that we've had in our area. The river jumped up to about 28 feet. Now it's down to about 8 feet. So hey, it's that time of year. It's finally getting right. Uh, so we're fixing to jump in the Flathead Outfitters boat. Uh, we've got a bunch of live bait. Dane and I and his son, we're fixing to get in the river and set a bunch of hooks and fish it all night long. We're just going to hope and pray that we can get on a lot of fish and some monster flatheads. So, hey, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And, hey, let's go fishing.
this size channel. Again, that'll make some good fillets. It's a nice flathead. It's a nice flathead. Come on, boy. Gosh. Yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> you ready for this? Big old head on that joker. Isn't that a nice fish. <laughs> yep, that's what we're after, Flathead Nation. We're after these monster flatheads. It's about time. Last night was terrible. They just weren't biting. It was just slow. The ones we were catching were small, but this one just made up for it. So hey, that is a good, good fish. You see the Yep, she just ripped the hide off my fingers. That's part of it. Though. I'm gonna get her again though, so you can see her. Ugh. You see the belly? That's a big old belly on the flathead. That's a good one. Hey, and once again, check out those fingers. That's what happens when you don't wear gloves, right? And it'll just toughen them up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That is a nice one. Yeah. 
five. Got ten pounds, maybe. See, so yeah, that's a good one. Good morning, everybody. So it's Friday morning. Uh, we spent last night on the river here on the Oconee River in Dublin. Set out probably about 45 to 50 hooks, live bait, cut bait. Uh, they didn't bite any of the cut bait. Everything that was biting last night, I was wanting live bait. So uh, it was a lot of work last night, and a lot of work this morning, but it paid off. Haven't carried the fish to the market yet, but I'm guessing we're probably close to 250, maybe 300 pounds. A catfish last night we actually wound up catching some real nice blues and hey how about this flathead this old gal right here is gonna be close to 50 pounds I tried to weigh her earlier with my scales in the boat and uh, it just didn't want to uh, act right so when I get to the market we'll weigh her again she is wide and thick but man look at that look at the mouth on that joker you don't think that won't suck up some brim off some brim beds in the river? These jokers will destroy the brim population in the river, which is one reason why we like to catch them and get them out. But really, we like to catch them because we love to eat them. We love catfish. That's what we do at Flathead Outfitters. We get in these rivers because we are licensed commercial catfish dealers in Georgia. So we're out here to catch all species of catfish and at the same time, because we're a guide service, we love carrying folks on the river and we love putting them on monster flatheads like this one. So, hey, I'll give you a panoramic view. You can look at it now with all the fish that we caught and some close ups of some of these big ones. So, the big cooler behind me back here, that's a 150 quart cooler in the back, and it's like it's got fish running out of it. Uh, not a whole lot of monsters, uh, but we did catch some nice ones. I'm really afraid what's happening now is all these fish are starting to spawn. It seems like they just came out of hibernation and now they're starting to spawn, which means they're going to slow down. Uh, they're going, the males are going to start laying uh, on top of those eggs and just guarding those eggs and they're just not going to eat for a while. So it's going to be hit and miss probably for a couple weeks, but hey, still wasn't a bad night. But listen, as always, thank you for watching and stay in tune. Hey, if you would, share subscribe tell your friends to watch flathead outfitters till next time keep on catching those catfish <laughs>